what's up. Thought I'd just go ahead and bring you updates. I think it's about time we start kind of ramping this, uh, ramping this channel up here. I know, um, you know, I've got quite a, quite a few subscribers out there, and so it's about time I start bringing you guys some content. No, unfortunately, I don't have any news that the Maverick is being made or scheduled at Ford or anything like that. It's still going to be a wait until we get the actual vehicle and we really start get cranking here. But I thought I'd go ahead and just kind of break down the process um, for those newcomers out there that might find this and, and they're interested in getting a, a Ford truck. I just want to bring the experience, you know, this doesn't just pertain to you having to get a Maverick, but people that find stumble upon this channel and they're just wanting to get a new vehicle in general, um, you know, the process is, is all the same. No matter what, you know, new vehicle you're getting, you've got to follow a certain process to get that vehicle. Uh, the Maverick just has a, a, you know, a high wait time. That's the only thing that's special or unique to that. It sounds like, you know, you know, Bronco buyers are, are right there, maybe even worse, you know, too. I'd go ahead and break down the process for a little. So uh, over the next, you know, few weeks or, you know, something like that, I'll just crank out short videos such as this one. And um, yeah, uh, we'll just kind of go from there. So, all right, going to switch over to the computer screen now and uh, we'll kind of take it, you know, step one by one here. So here we go. So first things first, uh, if you're buying a new vehicle or anything like that, what's the number one thing you want to do? Well, you know, you probably want to research your vehicle and, and see, you know, if the vehicle is the right fit for you, obviously. So, you know, go browse vehicles out there, watch YouTube videos, uh, do everything you need to do. Basically, when I'm getting a new vehicle, I just watch YouTube videos. I watch literally every single video I can from um, actual people. Like you can tell, you know, when people are salesmen or they're very high enthusiast, you know, uh, vehicle people. They'll just kind of they'll make the video all super flashy and. They've got like five, six cameras taking shots from all, you know, every direction. I myself personally like the uh, very candid videos, which are going to be like how my how my videos are produced once I get my vehicle. The next step after that is finding a good dealership. So I also did that through YouTube. I just looked up, you know, when I was looking up videos, I stumbled across a uh, Ford video guy. Uh, YouTube channel, uh, Long MacArthur down in Salina, Kansas. I stumbled upon that dealership's YouTube channel since they're a Ford dealership and I was looking at Ford Mavericks uh, all over YouTube. So I stumbled across that. Um, unfortunately, it was too late to get my order in. <laughs> Way too late um, by the time I found that channel. But, um, you know, I stumbled upon it nonetheless. And uh, so, yeah. Um, you know, made contact with them. So, whoop. So, step one, yeah, blow this up. Uh, step one is really, you know, locating a, I want to say, good dealer. Now, you ask, how do you know if they're a good dealer? Well, you know, that's why I say, like, you know, it's very handy when your dealership has a YouTube channel uh, and you can see the dedication that they, that they have to their customer base versus, you know, having to call them or anything like that. But if it's a, you know, if it's a local dealer, uh, go to your local dealers, spend some time in there. You know, a salesman isn't going to hassle you every time. Um, dealerships, from my perspective, and I actually worked at a dealership. Uh, as like a photo, uh, car photo person, taking photos of a lot inventory and things like that. So I've spent a good deal in uh, dealerships. Um, but, you know, uh, go in there. There's usually like a lounge area. Just sit in the lounge area if you have to. Sit in the lounge area, listen to everything around you. Just use active listening. See how customer service is handling people coming in. Usually the lounge area is right next to the parts like uh, repair, recalls, you know, uh, mechanics, you know, that, that kind of stuff. 
usually it's right next to there. So it's a very good area to get a feel for like how they treat their customers. Cause obviously that's where most of the dealerships kind of business comes from is people coming, you know, back to the dealership to get their vehicles, you know, looked at, get their vehicles checked. Um, whether it's an oil change, whether it's a tire change, whether it's, you know, something, you know, with the engine, you know, people are constantly, you know, vehicles are constantly having issues and people are constantly bringing them to the dealership to get them fixed up. So that's like at least 50% of a dealership's business versus like actually selling cars. Their other part is fixing vehicles. So you know, sit there, drink some free water. They always have free water. Most have like free granola bars. Uh, there's usually like a fruit basket there. That stuff's not just for potential customers. That stuff's there regardless. You can come in, you can grab it. You know, you, you can just sit there. Nobody's gonna like bother you. At least they shouldn't bother you to be like, um, what are you doing here? Like, are you going to do something with us? It's listen, find a good dealer, you know, listen to how they treat people. And then when you're ready to make the step up, you can go ahead and ask somebody, just inquire about, you know, getting started. Um, if order banks aren't opened up for that particular vehicle, they should let you know that. And then, you know, you can basically get on a, a waiting list for when the order banks open up. That's how the Maverick is right now. You could go into any dealer right now and just be like, hey, look, I understand order banks are not opened up, um, you know, for Maverick. But when the 2024, because that's the year they're going to be on, um, when the 2024 orders open up later this year in August, would it be OK? You know, can I get on a wait list for that? And they should be able to put you on a wait list. And then they should call you, um, they should notify you, you know, well before uh, the order banks are opening up. Hey, like, just wanted to remind you, you know, we're going to get your order in. It's this day, yada, yada. If it changes or gets pushed back like it did last year, they should let you know, like, hey, the order banks have been pushed back to September or whatever, you know. Just want to let you know and that sort of thing. So they should keep you updated, right? Because that's a good dealer. They, they keep you updated 24-7. That's what my dealership does. I wouldn't go with any other dealer. Um, so that's step number one is locating a good dealer. Um, we'll kind of continue on with other steps uh, later. Like I said, I kind of want to keep these videos short. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this. Uh, let me know you know how you, how you think of these videos and... Um, uh, if you want to see more and things like that, um, kind of keeps you waiting, right, for step two. What's step two going to be? Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think this is a pretty good breakdown. Um, and then, you know, we'll kind of go from there. And, uh, yeah, it'll just be a fun little deal. I'm just trying to think of other content that we can get out while we're waiting for the action maverick to appear i think this will be a, a good way for you guys to all get the the bigger picture of, of how to start because i didn't have any of this when i started um, i just kind of had to do my own searching and i'm just so glad that i had a really good dealer that basically just outlined it very smoothly and i was like okay sweet i know what to do um, they had multiple different ways of contacting them phone number two different emails that sort of stuff so um yeah but all right talk to you guys later we will continue this in the next video thank you peace